Hi, my name's Peter. What's your name? Look, I admit that not everything needs to be covered in designs. Not everything needs to have little drawings on it. And, um, well, more importantly, advertisements. We see these depictions of the future, both dystopian and even utopian, which may not be accurate um, or honest or uh, what everyone might agree is utopian. Um, depictions of the future, uh, where everything is covered in advertisements and stuff like that. But um, white space, um, living things plain, is powerful, right? Like a, like a plain white tea, um, it, it's, it's strong. It, 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 it leaves, it makes the things that, that aren't plain and un, undecorated, it makes those things um, a little bit more significant, right? I don't know what I'm saying, but I'm saying what I'm saying is I acknowledge that not everything uh, needs to have things on it, but I think a few more things um, couldn't hurt. It couldn't hurt to have some things on it, and I'm saying why not have some designs on the toilet paper, or at least this particular roll of toilet paper. Most toilet paper does have some little flowery designs kind of embossed on the toilet paper, uh, but it's very subtle. And I admit that most people, including myself, don't really look at the toilet paper as they're using it, whether you're a folder or a scruncher. Um, but maybe you don't look at the toilet paper just because there's nothing there to look at. We're usually looking at our phones or the back of a shampoo bottle or newspaper or little, you know, toilet book. You know, there's little books you can have in the, in the bathroom. There's all sorts of material. But what if the toilet paper was one of the things you could look at? All right. And if any one of you um, makes use of this idea, it could be a thing already. I want a piece of the action, okay? Anyways, also, what if the roll at the center of the toilet paper had little jokes on it, like... Uh, Popsicle sticks have jokes on them. That'd be pretty cool. Except for popsicle sticks have, like, the question on the re on the revealed part of the popsicle stick, and then the answer to the joke on the part of the popsicle stick that's covered in popsicle. So I don't know how that would work with a toilet paper roll. I don't know. Anyways, look, you can... There's got to be a way to do it. Like some sort of like, how many licks does it take to get to the center of a toilet paper roll? But how many square? How many wipes? I don't know. Some people are more economical with their usage. Uh, it varies from person to person. It, it it doesn't really matter. But I think it wouldn't hurt to have some sort of reward. And some people would be like, we don't we don't need more clutter at the center of our toilet paper rolls, but it doesn't hurt. You just don't have to, you just don't have to look at it if you don't want it being there. If you're, if you're not upset with it, just don't look at it. Just throw it away like everyone else. Or if you're like me, just kind of let the empty paper towel, paper toilet, paper toilet paper rolls gather kind of there. Also, as I was drawing on this toilet paper, um, I was using a water brush filled with various kinds of ink. Is it as it emptied the water brush, I kept filling it back up with different types of ink because I could never remember what I filled it up with before. I thought, I thought perhaps, what is, you know, what is the Guinness World Record for the longest drawing ever? I wonder if I'm getting close. You know, this is a pretty long drawing. This, this drawing is about 54 feet long and four inches tall. That's a pretty long drawing. Uh, and it turned out, so I looked it up, and to my flabbergastedness, the record, I, you know, I thought, what if the record for longest drawing was held by Peter Draws? And it turns out that the record for longest drawing ever was held by someone named Peter Draw. Some other guy named Peter Draw. What are the chances of that? Some guy in Singapore named Peter Draw. That... Seemed like a crazy coincidence to me. That was... I don't know who this guy is, but apparently he likes drawing too. I don't know if that's his real name. If, if you guys don't know this, Draws is not my real last name. Peter is my f real first name. Draws is not. Um, if you buy my book, you can find my real last name. It's a little more complicated. 
but some guy in Singapore, and I was nowhere near to the long, re- longest drawing. I was about 2,000 feet off. Um, he beat me by quite a bit, but I still had a fun time drawing this toilet paper for no real reason than the fact that I had an urge to draw the toilet paper, so so I did. And, and that's about it. And of course everyone asked, the, when you do something like this, it's inevitable that about half the people that know you're doing it ask a question like, are you going to use it? And in my, in, my, in my opinion, and in my sage artistic opinion, I am using it just by drawing on it. But of course, what they mean is, are you going to wipe your butt with it? And no, I'm not going to wipe my butt with it. Honestly, I don't even use toilet paper. When I, when I take a little poo, I hop right into the shower afterwards, which is right next to my toilet, and just take a little shower. Because I don't see how people can just wipe with toilet paper afterwards and pull up their pants. That seems totally awful. If, if you got a little bit of poo on your finger, would you just wipe it off with toilet paper and go about your day without washing your hand? I don't think so. So how, how can you do that with your, with your little butthole? Um, so, I don't know, maybe people in Europe are scoffing at all the Americans because they have their little bidets and stuff, probably. I, I would, most of the time, the way Europeans, you know, seem all superior to Americans seems a little bit, it gets out of hand. But that, I can, that, I'll admit, it, 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 it works. That they can get away with. Okay. Anyways, no, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna wipe with this. But um, another thing that's in, in, inevitable when doing when drawing on toilet paper is all the crappy jokes you guys are gonna make in the comments. So just go ahead and get it out of your system. It's fine. It's inevitable. I, there's nothing you can do about it. So um, whatever. Cool. Uh, have a good. Have a good day, everybody. Good. Goodbye. Goodbye.